hey guys and welcome back to my channel um today i want to go over a subscription that i just started getting last month i didn't cover the box because the company got a little behind so the actual box took until like the beginning of december to get in so i decided to just wait until the december box and go ahead and cover it when it was all here so what i'm going to be showing y'all today is the lola beauty box it is a not to say newer subscription it's probably been around about a year but it's finally starting to pick up like some pretty decent brands it's getting some really good products people are starting to pay attention so i wanted to show you this december box the the theme is so cute it is winter lola land here we have all their social media info i'll link their website down below i don't know if i have a referral link like maybe I do and if I do I'll link that down below for you guys but this is the card it's got all my info on the back so we're just gonna jump right in <clears throat> the first thing I'm gonna show y'all is this Laritzi I think I'm saying that right eyeshadow palette it looks like it's just the new palette and it is a nude eyeshadow collection there's no mirror bummer but that's okay Morphe didn't have mirrors either so that's fine here are the colors in this palette. It's just a very basic palette. And I'm going to have to get up to show you all this. We have got some swatches. Now, this is not like crazy, super impressive, but a lot of these colors are really light. So like right through here, you've got some light colors. And through here, are kind of lighter. But like, look at these shimmers. They look nice. And I have not played with it yet, but I will soon. I'm excited. I'm also going to get these swatches off my arm. <clears throat> but that palette retails for $36. So we're going to get out our calculator. And we have got $36. So the next thing I'm going to show you are... Um, is this this is hair Girt smoothing yogurt hair mask by project beauty and it looks like this it says tested on people not animals so cruelty free um looks pretty good it is strawberry banana so we're going to open this up it is protected so that you know it has not been opened yet. And I'm actually going to go ahead and try this one. So, ooh, y'all. First off, it is, uh, I don't know if I can get this to go on here right. That's what that looks like. It smells good, like really good kind of excited to try that in my hair. I'm usually a little sketch about fruity things in my hair. Here is how it comes out. But we will see. <clears throat> my hair needs some love, so no issues there. Then we have another thing that I couldn't show you if I wanted to. Um, it is the Rituals of Dow Night Balm. Um, it says it is a hand balm developed to soothe and soften hands, transforms dry hands, has an aroma of white lotus with skin soothing qualities of traditional Chinese medicine. Looks like this. And it retails for $17. <clears throat> so let me get to adding. That hair girt was... 11 plus this is 17 so we're up to 64 dollars now let me see okay this one is not sealed so it smells pretty good got a little bit of a floral scent to it <clears throat> i'm going to try this out on my boyfriend because he has super rough hands and if it can do something for his there's hope for this product because it's got to be magical for all that stuff so the next thing I'm going to show you here, a brand that we will all recognize is a Tarte Cosmetics Tartise Glossy Lip Paint in the color Goals. 
and this I was super excited about. These retail for 20 so basically when you pay, the box is 21 so when you pay for the box, like you kind of just paid for this. So if absolutely nothing else in here is too, too excited to you, you can pay for this and you'll get this plus some extras, but there's another product that I'm so excited about. Uh, this is a quick swatch of that gloss. And I mean, it's a glossy lip, so it's not going to have like a super awesome matte finish or anything. Might need to be worn on top of another color, though I don't think it will go with my lip color today. But that's cute. And I have been super excited about that coming in. <clears throat> now, last, we have got a Crown Brush CRG1 Deluxe Tapered Powder Brush. And that retails for $17.99. I'm rounding that to $18 because I nobody got time for the scents. <clears throat> And this is what the brush looks like. It came in all its packaging, not just stuck in the box. And I'm excited about this because I have needed a new powder brush. I just I haven't bought one. And when this came in today, I was like, yay, because I like Crown. They have like little indents for your fingers and their brushes. This is so stinking soft. I mean, I know you can't like tell in the video, but if you can tell, like it's just soft. And it's super pretty. It's got this rose gold up at the top and where it says crown is in rose gold too. And like, I opened this earlier just to see how soft it was. And it's so soft and I'm so excited because I have something to dust off my translucent powder with now instead of just lapping it off with my fingers because I'm kind of ratchet and that's what I've been doing. So that is five all full-size products and the total came out to $102 so about five-ish times what you paid for the box it's like three dollars from being five times what you paid for it now I'm the kind of person I don't get too excited about this stuff like I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna see how it goes um, I'll let y'all know in the comments maybe mention it in a later video I get excited about the makeup and the tools and the brushes but I mean to me like the makeup itself was worth over like sixty dollars maybe 70 i don't know that's a lot and to only pay 21 for that is not at all bad not in the slightest and with these subscription boxes um something i've noticed even with boxycharm um when they first start out they always have like lesser known brands that are easier to get in bulk for a good price so they can put it in the boxes when they're starting out but as people start noticing them, they start getting momentum, brands start noticing them and seeing, hey, if we stick this product in their box, all these people are going to see it. And then once they try that one product, they might buy more of our products. Then these boxes start really picking up and gaining a lot of momentum, getting better products, better brands, all kinds of stuff. So that's what I'm excited about. I'm really excited to be getting this box on the come up because it looks like I caught it right on time because I know I didn't unbox last month for y'all, but it was pretty good. Like it had this legit eyeliner in it, some good nail polish, had a, was a palette, like I think it was a Coastal Scents palette maybe, I don't remember who it was by, but it had some good stuff in it last month and this month is even better and this brush is like worth it to me. Like these two products are worth almost $40 by themselves this would have convinced me to buy the box on its own honestly I didn't even know it was coming in this until the payment had already come out but I saw these and I was excited because these are incredible <clears throat> so that is my Lola beauty box for the month of December um, again if there's any subscriptions y'all want to see you want to check out you want me to try for you before you buy it let me know in the description. I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, subscriptions are like my favorite thing. It's like Christmas just all throughout the month when they show up. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I will see you guys later. And I hope you have an amazing holiday. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope it's incredible for you. And uh, I hope you all have a good day today. Bye, you guys.